What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So Google has pushed out the first update for the Pixel Watch in existence and a lot of people are kind of upset that obviously it's not all being dropped at the same time for everybody. In traditional Google fashion it's being rolled out steadily in waves but we have a trick I want to show you guys today how to force your watch to pull in that update. It's an old trick that used to work back in fossil uh, watch days when they were popular and also some of the new tiles and what's been changed. First things first, to force the update, it is actually pretty easy. All you're gonna need to do is go into settings, scroll all the way down to system, and then system update. And when you get that notification that your watch is up to date like this, what you're gonna need to do is right around the top of the watch graphic, you are simply gonna press it and just keep tapping consistently for about 30 seconds to a minute this will actually force the watch to provide a background check and once that check is complete it will automatically start downloading the update if there's one out now as you guys can see here we're currently running the december 5th patch so we're not going to get one we are on the most recent update at the time but give that a try comment down below let me know how it works for you and just keep tapping until it refreshes now aside from that there were two new tiles that were added in this release and all you need to do to get to those are swipe over long press on the tiles and once they come up you can scroll and you will be greeted with the new tile once you click the plus button they will be in here now I have them added already so you're not going to see them here but one we just scrolled past it is that contacts widget and then also all the way down is going to be a new sunrise and sunset tile. So you can see sunset is at 526 here, about 7 hours and 56 minutes left of daylight. You have this neat little sun graphic going across the sky. If you click on it, it'll give you more information as well. The day length, next sunrise, and just to refresh it or anything else, nothing too significant here, but pretty cool nonetheless. Aside from those two new tiles, there were obviously some back-end updates that you're not going to see. There was a lot of fixes for under the hood improvements for hands-free profile calling. Uh, it adds the ability uh, to enable and disable battery mode with one tap. And, and also the ability to fix, it'll fix an issue with watch face complications not showing correctly. Um, and make sure the Fitbit exercise layout properly show on the display without being cut off. That was an issue if you guys used um, any of the Fitbit integration here it would not be showing fully on the display unfortunately at all times so yeah not a massive update something good to see pushing already out to these devices it is good to see that some of the old tricks still work but not else much is new and updated in this version what do you guys think did that trick pull in that update for you let us know down below thumbs up this video subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one peace